Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the tile feature in Medibang Paint. This is a feature that I haven't used much until recently as honestly it confused me before, but here is how you would use it. In this, you are going to need to download some things, but this is only really small stuff from in the tile, tone, and item menu. So here is how to get started with that. So firstly, you're going to want to go into the menu for it, which is this little button right here. It looks kind of like an actual button. So press that and you will be brought into this menu. I have one of them downloaded here, but as you can see, they're not automatically in here. To get these, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab them from the menu. Down here we have images and cloud storage. You can choose either of these. With the tile, if you get an image from your gallery, then all it will do is essentially get that image and we can add it into here. It'll be a normal size at first, but if you lower the magnification, as you can see, it just adds several of them. And then obviously the higher you have it, the more zoomed in it will be. It is the same when you download something. Right here we have another tile, which is these little checkers that you download from the menu. And as you can see right here, they add this effect. To download them, go into this cloud icon right here. You can download from the tile section, the tone section, or the item section. Which all have different things in them, as you can see. The tone is more so for backgrounds or sort of templates uh, for things that you would want to do for manga backgrounds, all that kind of stuff. And then item is gonna be little props and speech bubbles, etc. And you also have really cute little templates like these. When you have something that you want to download, you're just gonna to want to click on it there and then click this download icon down here. It will then download, which you can check in your bar at the top, your notification bar. And then when it's done, it will just be there. From there, you'll see it in your menu. Like you can see right here, the item is in this menu now. Adding in the item tends to look quite different to adding in anything else. You would have to make it smaller or bigger depending on the size of the canvas that you have. But you can toggle it enough to get it in there. This won't fully fit since I cannot exactly do that at the moment. But here you go. You can have those in there. And then you can click the little X that it came with to get rid of it. So once you actually have these in there, here's what it will look like. I'll use this tile one, for example, at a high magnification, because otherwise it doesn't look very nice in my opinion. So once you click set, then you have that in here. It will then be on the layer that you chose, so you can change the settings of it on that layer. For example, you can change the opacity. I'm pretty sure that you could use protect alpha and color it in if you wanted to as well, which I will try right here. Yeah, you can definitely color it in. You can also use different layer blending modes. So as you can see right here, it's on normal, but you could change it to add. So essentially there's a bunch of different stuff that you can do with these. There's tons of stuff that you can choose. It's just like the gallery option in Abyss Paint where you can get backgrounds and stuff. It's just the Medibang version of that. It's not something I see get talked about a lot though, which is why I made a video about it, because I have not seen anyone make stuff on this yet. It is super duper useful though, especially for things like speech bubbles and the backgrounds. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, consider supporting. Bye!